So here we are at the home page, and in this video I want to show you how to actually log into the administrative interface. So I'm going to come up here um, up to the actual URL, and on the end of the URL I'm going to put a slash and then a wp-admin. And that is actually going to take me to the login screen, where I can go ahead and log in with my username and password. And now if I'm on a public computer, um, you don't want to click this, but if I'm on a private computer, you can click Remember Me. What this does is when you close out your browser, if you've clicked Remember Me, this will actually keep you logged in. But if you don't and you close out your browser, you will automatically be logged out. But I'm, this is my private computer, so I'm going to go ahead and tell it to go ahead and keep me logged in. And it will automatically log me in and then direct me over here to the administrative interface. So the um, the meat and potatoes of WordPress, so to speak, is right over here in this menu over here on the left. And this is where everything, where everything is, all the different submenus for all the different areas in the administrative interface. You're going to be most interested over here in portfolio and pages. Those are the two areas that we're going to be going over because that's where all of your content is. Once you've logged in, you have this administrative taskbar up here and you can actually go back and forth between your site and the administrative area by just clicking between here and you'll just jump back and forth between the two. Um, the administrative area inside of WordPress here, this is the dashboard and you'll see some, some different things here over here. We've got WordFence and it's your security software that's just kind of monitoring the system, letting you know if there are any problems, if uh, you've got some people trying to log in but they don't have accounts, you know, uh, there are countries that have been blocked, what IPs have been blocked, these are usually bots or people that try to log in with the username admin or things like this. The WordFence, this will go ahead and, and block them, that's what this is here for. And this is Google Analytics. This will just kind of show you, give you a quick overview um, of the people visiting your site and you can take a look and go through and look and see who the different, use, how many users you had or look at the location of where they're primarily coming from. Looks like all your, all your um, uh, visitors are from the United States, which is great. Take a look and see what searches they came in for. Unfortunately, none were provided. A lot of time people people uh, use software that prevents tracking and that, so you'll get a lot of those where the, the searches weren't provided. Be able to see what kind of technology that people are using, what their operating systems are. You can just hover over it and it will let you know what those are, different screen resolutions and stuff. So just kind of a quick overview um, of the analytics. And uh, if you need a more detailed overview, just let us know. Uh, I think we, I don't know if we gave you access to the analytics account or not, but I'll double check and make sure. So that's how you log into the system and how you're able to, to easily go back and forth between the front of your site, take a look at it, and jump back into the administrative portion of your site there. In the next video, um, we're going to go over actually making uh, changes to the content of pages.